All right, last topic for today. John Pascal asks, what's the bigger threat to the Chiefs, the Denver Broncos or the L.A. Chargers? Oh, man. You know, oof, that's a really good one because I look at the Broncos for one of those teams to say watch out for, and I think you agree with me. I mean, you know, again, that defense is really good. Bradley Chubb will be back. They got Jarrell Casey. They traded for A.J. Bouye. You know, there's some things there you look at and go, wow. And, of course, the Drew Locke factor. But I think for right now, I'm going to stick with the Chargers. For right now, I am. Just because it's, I guess there's a little more of a proven commodity there in that defense. They were in the playoffs two years ago. They've improved their offensive line. There are weapons at receiver. You know, Tyrod Taylor is certainly not as sexy as Drew Locke to me, but he has taken the team to the playoffs. So, you know, I really like the prospects of what Denver could do, but I think right now I'd probably give the edge to the Chargers. Yeah, look, I'm excited by what the Denver's can, uh, the Denver Broncos can do with Drew Locke at quarterback. It was great to see it late in the year last year. The defense is going to be better in Vic Fangio's second season. We've talked about how great Pat Shermer could do with that offense. The, the, the arrival of Melvin Gordon, I, I, I think the Broncos are a bigger threat. I, I think that they haven't been all that far off the past couple of years. And, you know, like so many of these other teams, you know, we see a team turn it around quickly. Some of these teams that turn it around and go from non-playoffs to playoffs, they weren't that far out of the playoffs in the first place. And right. you, you make one adjustment here, one adjustment there, and you've bent the the one loss record in your favor. And uh, I could see them overcoming the Chargers. I could see them being the, the number two team in the division this year, maybe a wild card team, maybe a real threat to the Chiefs. If there's any type of a Super Bowl hangover in Kansas City, I, I'm excited about what the Broncos can do now. Would I like to see Drew Locke have the benefit of a full offseason program? Yes, but uh, I, I, I th- he, we saw him get thrust into the fray last year after he'd missed all that yeah. time with the wrist injury, and he was fine. He's got that quiet confidence, that looseness that I think you need to have in, in, a, in a potentially great quarterback. He's not freaked out by the moment. He loves it. He embraces it. He relishes it. You were all over him last year as a potential first-round pick. He slid to round two, and uh, I think he's going to prove a lot of people wrong starting this year. Yeah, well, you know, again, he's the perfect example of another guy where if he came out the year before, he's going to be a slam-dunk top-20 pick, but he stayed in one more year, the team fell apart, and then everybody viewed him differently because they, we all blame the quarterback for everything. Pass protection, whether the quarter, you know, the receivers catch the ball. I mean, it's just crazy how we do that. But he's played a lot of football in the SEC, Mike, and you hit on it. You hit on all the right points. He does have a very nice, quiet confidence about him, and he does not seem rattled by anything, let alone you and I saw him make a lot of big-time talented throws last year, and I think that should excite Denver. I, I mean, listen, I picked the Chargers, but I'm with you. I hear you with a lot of the things you're saying with Denver. Denver is one of those teams I, you know, you, you got to say watch out for this year in the AFC. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.